Book sleeves and covers are some of the best ways to protect your books when you're carrying them around town with you. But what happens if the next book you're gonna read is too skinny or too tall? Can you still use the same one or do you need to make another one? Hello, I'm Allie, literary sewist. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an adjustable book cover that will work for every book in your favorite series. Now, let's go sew. The materials you'll need are one cut of your main fabric, one cut of the lining fabric, one cut of heavyweight interfacing or fusible fleece, two cuts of strap fabric. Lay your main fabric out flat with the wrong side up. Then place your book with the spine against the fabric, tucking in the end about four to five inches. Pulling the fabric taut, roll the book into the fabric. Fold the fabric inside the cover all the way to the spine. Mark the edge of your fabric at the fold next to the spine. Again, lay the spine on the fabric and line up the edge. Mark the length of your book. Fold your fabric in half lengthwise. Using the mark for the book length, draw a line parallel to the long edge that is one half inch away from the mark. Unfold the fabric and draw a line perpendicular to the long edge at the mark for the spine fold. Now cut along your lines. You can double check your measurements by wrapping the fabric around the book. Lay the main fabric on top of the lining fabric, then trace around the outside of the main fabric onto the lining fabric. Now cut the lining out. Trace the fabric onto the interfacing. Before you cut, draw lines one quarter inch away from the tracing, but inside the rectangle. Okay, cut those out too, and cut along the inside lines. Take the short edge of your main fabric and use it to cut the length of your strap fabric. The strap fabric should be a half inch longer and three inches wide. Center and apply your interfacing to the wrong side of the main fabric. Fold the main fabric in half, then mark four inches away on the long side and two inches away on the short side. Draw a line between the two marks, then cut off the corner. Transfer this diagonal cut to the lining fabric. Fold the strap pieces in half and press a line into the center. Fold the long edges toward the center line and press. When they're both pressed, place them facing raw edges together, clip together with the folded edges flush. Top stitch the strap pieces together. From the corner of the trapezoid end of the main fabric, measure one and a half inch over and pin the strap in place. Repeat for the other side. Starting at the trapezoid end, pin the lining fabric in place right sides together. Mark a five inch section to leave open for turning. Backstitch at the beginning of the opening, sewing around the edges with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Stop at the opposite side of your opening and backstitch. Clip all of the corners. Reach in through the opening and turn right sides out. Poke or pull out the corners as you go. Make sure the strap is on the lining side. Tuck in the raw edges of the opening one quarter inch and press the entire project. Pin the opening closed. Top stitch around the entire project, sewing the opening closed. Place your ruler on the straight edge and draw a line four inches away from the end. 
fold over at the line and clip in place. Top stitch both sides of the flap down, back stitching at the edge for added reinforcement. So my only challenge is those books that are a little bit taller, a little bit shorter than the other books on your shelf. But you can always just make another one, right? It'd be totally fab if you'd share all of your projects with me. Be sure to tag me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever platform you happen to be sewing on. I know you want more bookish sewing fun, so head on over here and I'll see you in the next one. Before you hop away, drop down to the video description to sign up for my newsletter and receive this frog coin pouch pattern for free.